beautiful wedding by presenting Carrie to be married to Joseph. Her mother and I do. Good. Give her a kiss, Dad. Good. Oh <laughs> boy. Ask the parents of our bride and groom to stand, would you please? These precious young people have asked me to express to you their love, their affection, and thank you for teaching them the meaning of the word love and the meaning of the word commitment. And while they say thank you, I too say thank you and bless you for letting me borrow them for a few moments. And you may be seated. Thank you. Well, as I thought about your love story, I began to search for a well-defined meaning of the word love. There are many. I discovered that love is a strong, passionate affection for someone, a strong liking and admiration one for the other, and then Jack added his definition. Oh, love can be gentle hands holding gentle hands, and loving eyes meeting loving eyes, and words of love embracing words of love. But as I saw you yesterday with a gleam in your eye and a smile on your face, you, my dear ones, became my definition of the word love. I look no further. I most assuredly can find no better. And your love is amplified with these words, and the Apostle Paul says it so much better than I, so let me quote him from this book. He said, Though I speak the language of angels and of men and have no love, my speech is no more than a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. For love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous or conceited or proud, and love is not ill-mannered or selfish, and love is not happy with evil, but very happy with truth. Now here's the wonderful part. For it says, love never, ever gives up. It's faith, it's hope, it's patience, never ever fails. Love then is eternal forevermore. What we see now is like a dim image in a mirror, and what we know now is only partial, but one day it will all be made complete, as complete as God's knowledge is of you and of me. In the meantime, three things shall always abound with you upon this earth. Never forget them. Faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is, always shall be love. And so we've gathered here in the sight of God, in the presence of family and friends, to unite in holy matrimony, Joseph and Carrie. And this occasion not to be entered in unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and with the approval of God. Into this holy estate, you two beautiful people come now to be joined. Now let me say to you, to myself, and all who can hear me, that marriage is one of the most important decisions any two people can make in a lifetime. Marriage offers challenges to overcome, but in return, marriage will give you love, strength, and support one for the other. But for your marriage to remain strong, your faith in God, your faith in each other must never ever waver due to the trials and tribulations of this old world in which we live. Oh, a good marriage is dependent upon many things, but the first prerequisite is a strong bond of love, friendship, respect one for the other. And your love will go deeper with the passing of each day. But the genuine liking for each other, the willingness to accept each other's strong points and weak points with understanding and respect is a very important part of this union. That also translates into these words for me, for not only do I ask you to be true lovers, I would beg you to be and remain the very best of friends. For standing by your side this day, holding you by the arm should be and will be the very best friend you'll have on this earth. Then you look back on this very day and say, when I fell in love, 
It was forever. And when I gave my heart, I gave it completely. So have no dislikes for anyone. Remove any worry from your mind. Never, ever take more than you can give. And your journey through life will be an even happier one. And remember this, that it will be the journey, not the destination, that helps make this marriage grow even stronger. Joseph, it seems that you have found your Cinderella. Look, that's your Cinderella angel. And you have your Prince Charming, for he's very much in love with you. He told me so. <laughs> so what God has in store for you, too, goes beyond anything you could ever, ever imagine. Never Never forget it. Now, if you'll pass your bouquet to this lovely lady, I'm going to ask that you turn, face each other, join both hands, and hold on tightly as you receive your vows of marriage, one from the other. Joseph, you first, as you look at this lovely lady, repeat after me. All that I am and all that I have. All that I am and all that I have. All that I have been and all that I shall be. All that I am have been and all that I shall be. I share with you from this day forward. I share with you from this day forward. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And stand beside you. And stand beside you. In the only way I know how. In the only way that I know how. Completely and for eternity. Completely and for eternity. I care as you look into this handsome face, you say these words to him, please. All that I am and all that I have. All that I am and all that I have. All that I have been and all that I shall be. All that I have been and all that I shall be. I share with you from this day forward. I share with you from this day forward. And stand beside you. And stand beside you. In the only way I know how. In the only way I know how. Completely and for eternity. Completely and for eternity. Now, may I have the rings, please? That's good. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I could not have finished without you. Thank you. Take the rings belong to your beloved. Place on her finger. Look in her beautiful eyes and repeat after me. <laughs> okay. Go. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And offer a symbol. An offer of simple. Of all that we will share. Of all that we will share. Our hopes, our dreams, our love. Our hopes, our dreams, our love. Okay. Carry up on his finger. Perfect, you got it in practice. Repeat after me. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And offer a symbol. And offer a symbol. Of all that we will share. Of all that we will share. Our hopes, our dreams, our love. Our hopes, our dreams, our love. Now turn back to me. Thank you. My dear ones, may you always, always need one another. Not so much to fill the emptiness as to help each other know your fullness. May you succeed in all important ways, one with the other. Look for things to praise and often say, I love you. May you have happiness and may you find it in making one another happy. And may you have love and may you find it in loving one another. And as love is symbolized by light, may the lighting of your candle remind us of the holiest state of unity you are now entering. May the light of the candle by you together serve as a witness that your lives are no longer separate. No, indeed, they shall be as one. And may your home always be a place of light. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. You may now light your unity candle. Mm -hmm.